Hello and welcome to this introduction for Film Wash Color Effects for DaVinci Resolve Volume 4. What we're going to do in this first exercise is just see how we bring in the uh, Film Wash Power Grades and how we can start to uh, use them in different ways. So uh, without any further ado, let's, uh, let's take a look at that. Now we can bring these in a number of different ways. Uh, if you just want to use them for one particular project, then we can just come into the stills and go uh, right click in here and go import. And then we come into our power grades folder here. We change enable to JPEG files and we can just select all either with uh, command A or control A and hit OK there. And this will then go in and load all of the film wash effects into our stills library here. And as we can see, they're broken up into a number of different uh, categories. The XC stands for cross color, the XB stands for cross balance, FS for film stock, and the XP stands for cross process. And if we take a look in our gallery down at the bottom here, we can see the entire list going down here. So we come back to the color here and let's just see how we can quickly apply our filters. So if I just right click and go add correction here, we can start to see that immediately we're going to get a different feel for our footage. And I'll go through a few of these different ones here. So we just take a quick look just at random ones. We can see that we're getting a whole load of very different styles coming in just with our different corrections. And the beauty of these color grades here is that you can mix them up and down very, very easily. So for example, if you think this look is too much or not enough, we're just gonna come into the key down here, come to our gain, and by taking our gain lower, we can mix it back. And by bringing it up higher, we can get a more pronounced effect. So a quick before and after. We'll take that down a little bit here. Now let's uh, just base memory that for a second to reset. Now not all of these consist of a single node as the afternoon sun one does. So we add this correction, you can see we've only got one node going on here. Uh, some of them have multiple nodes going in. So for example, if we go to our film stock homage code it gold, you can see we've got two nodes coming up. Now we could mix back both of these nodes uh, using the same key gain as we did with a single node or enhance the effect if we want to. But usually all you'll have to do is adjust one of the, uh, of the nodes here. Usually the main one here, the one that's already mixed down to uh, a normal gain of 0 0.5. And if you adjust that one, that will have the most pronounced effect on it for you. Now there are still further ones that have multiple nodes applied to it. So in this case, we've got a four node uh, correction coming in here. Uh, and what we want to do is come to, again, the node that looks like it's just been mixed down already a little bit. So it's gonna be slightly uh, more faded than the other ones. And this again is gonna be the main node for sorting out uh, either mixing it back or mixing it further in. But generally you'll find that most of the grades uh, stick to either one or two nodes. Of course, moving on to the next shot here, uh, what if we've actually already got a, uh, a color correction uh, applied to a particular clip? So here I'll just come in and I will add a, a window up here. Just add a lot of softness and do a very, very quick vignette on this. So we can see something quite, quite pronounced here. So uh, soften that up a little bit more. 
uh, and maybe we'll come in and we will add a another qualifier here uh, and try and enhance the sky a little bit. Cool, so we've got our before and our after. So we've already done the uh, the sort of main balancing work for it. And we don't want to destroy that because if we um, just came in and did what we did before and did add correction, it would take all of our other nodes and just, um, just take them away. I'm just going to undo that. So what we can do is instead of um, adding a correction, we can append the node graph. And this will then place our film wash right at the end of the uh, of the node queue here. So before and after and completely before and after. And we can still do the mix back again. So if I come to my node that looks slightly more faded than the other ones, come into my key, maybe kick that up just a tiny bit more, make that a little bit more pronounced and look at the before and the after. So as I said, this is working on, uh, when it's in the stills library here, this is working on a, uh, a project by project basis. Now, obviously a great deal of the time, you'll probably want these just sat in your library all of the time so that you can use them whenever you want to and not have to think about importing them uh, for each project. So now we can do the same things we did before, except this time we're going to go into the Power Grade tab. So if I import from the same JPEG there, and we now have these sat in our Power Grade tab, uh, and these will be available to us no matter which project that we're working on. Uh, and just by double clicking, on any of these, we can take a quick preview of what it's going to look like before we apply it to our shot. So in this one, if I want to have a bit of a cool creamy look, let's add the correction over there, toggle our wipe off again and check out the before and after. Now, of course, there's nothing to stop us from blending multiple uh, ones together. So if I add my Fuji color here and then decide that I want to take things a little bit uh, warmer after this. So let's come up to my uh, cross balance daylight to tungsten and append that node up here. See the before and the after. And at any point here, I can just come to my individual nodes and just mix the strength of those back as I need to, or increase the strength if I want to, to really get that look that I'm actually after. Cool, so I hope you uh, can see how easy it is to start really quickly building up a whole series of very interesting looks very quickly using the film wash color effects for DaVinci Resolve. Now join me in the next tutorial and we'll be looking through the, uh, the process of doing a quick grade on a series of shots and how we start to, uh, to apply film wash to those. Thanks for now.